Hello everyone, it's your girl Tanya with Books and Brown Liquor and I am back with a book review, okay? Another chapter, this book was so good, okay. This is my first time reading this author. Uh, the Twisted Ones by T. King Fisher. This book I had never, I never would have picked this up on my own. I got this book, I got this recommendation from another booktuber. Her name is Samantha Leanne. I don't remember the name of her channel, but like when she was talking about what this book was about, I was like, what? Oh, immediately, I'm in. Okay. Whew. This takes place in North Carolina, a small town in North Carolina, like one of those smaller towns. And we have a main character. Her name is Melissa. She goes by the name of Mouse. And uh, I don't even know where to begin. I'm so excited. I love this book so much. Okay. So she goes by the name Mouse and once upon a time, her grandmother and her grandmother's husband, follow along, it'll make sense in the end. Her grandmother and her grandmother's husband, who is not her grandfather, so this is like her step granddaddy, right? They lived in this small Southern Rambler type house in like rural North Carolina, a small town, North Carolina. So the grandfather has passed away a few years ago. And then now we're at the point where her grandmother has passed away and there aren't any other family members to clean out grandma's old house. Okay. So Mouse, Melissa, she drives down from Pennsylvania and goes to North Carolina to clean out her grandmother's old ass house. <sighs> Spoiler alert, grandma's a hoarder. All right. So when she opens the door, she's like, what the fuck? Like... <laughs> Please, should I just light a match and walk away? So it's very daunting. Grandma was a hoarder like to the 10th power, okay? Fun fact about me, I have a family member who was a hoarder, so I felt her pain immediately. Going in, I was like, oh my God, girl. Anyway, so she's going through the house, right? And it's a, it's a shit show. It's an absolute shit show. You know, old people collect ridiculous shit, okay? No offense, but old people collect ridiculous shit. I got a grandma. They'd be collecting ridiculous shit. So anyway, she goes to, uh, she finds her way through her grandfather, her step grandfather's old uh, office. And she finds a journal and she starts reading it. She's just like, whatever. Like, what was he talking about? Cause she remembers when he was alive, he used to always be in his back study, like typing on this old ass typewriter. Yes, a typewriter. And, but she found this journal. So she was like, what the hell he been writing all this time? Let me check some of this shit out. So she opens this journal. It's weird. It's very weird. And she's wondering, okay, is this journal weird? Because toward the end he was starting to like lose his shit or is this just, was he just crazy? Like this shit don't even make no sense. It's just, it's weird. So she's like, she has a good laugh. <laughs> this nigga's crazy. Like, what the fuck is he talking about? She puts the journal away. But the stuff he's talking about, she can't stop thinking about it. But anyway, nothing really crazy has happened yet. So again, you know, out comes the trash bags and lots of coffee because this is a big job. So she's throwing out all this shit and da 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 da. She finds herself drawn back to this journal. And some of it sounds familiar, but then a lot of it is really like, out there, like out there, out there. So I will say this book uh, contains, I don't want to say fantasy, but like a uh, folklore. You know, when small towns have those folk legends, those underground stories that people kind of whisper about, but don't talk about openly, like how New Jersey has the New Jersey devil or, you know, La Chupacabra. So I will say that everything is going fine. And then she starts experiencing some things that are really weird that you can't really talk to people about without looking crazy as hell. So she starts hearing some weird stuff. And then she has a dog. She's walking her dog. She starts seeing some weird stuff. And like I said, you know, you start asking around town and people are like, what? It's like people know about this type of thing, but they don't talk about it out loud, right? 
But like I said, you can't go to the authorities because it's like calling the cops and saying, La Chupacabra is real and he's in my backyard. Mm. Get the doctor. Okay, I believe. You know what I mean? It's, it's that type of thing. So she starts to see some things that she can't explain away. And then it brings her back to step granddaddy's journal where she's like, wait a minute, is this shit he was talking about real? Did he know something? And uh, it gets really interesting. So like I said, it's kind of like folklore, those folk tales that people don't talk about out loud, but those things that people whisper about in the dark, you know, like the Wendigo, Chupacabra, things like that. Okay. So I will just say my own personal experience. I absolutely loved this book. I love the storytelling. It kind of, um, the way the story progressed, it's like you were like, oh my God, what is she gonna find? What is she gonna find? And then of course there's woods behind the house, which is just lovely, right? Because <laughs> that's where the monsters can hide. Wonderful. So anyway, there's a scene in the book where uh, she wakes up in the middle of the night. She hears a strange noise and she hears something outside and she says, oh, well, at least the front door is locked. So I'm laying in my bed, it's dark, it's nighttime, right? And um, I'm thinking, well, shit, is my, is my door locked? Is, is my door locked? Because the stuff that she's describing in the book, it is creepy. So in my mind, I'm like, let me just go check and make sure the front door is locked. Now, obviously I'm not a fool, okay? I'm a grown ass woman, I know how to lock the door, but, my son, when he went out with his friends, did he lock the door? So I go downstairs, I go to the front door, the door is locked, oh, thank God. And then I hear a noise outside the door and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> and then I hear another noise and I'm a little nervous. And then I hear another noise after that. <sighs> and I'm like, I know these motherfuckers are not outside my door. <laughs> and then my son comes in and he's like, why are you standing there? And I'm like, what was that noise? He's like, I dropped my keys. Like, what, what is wrong with you? I'm like, nothing, nothing. Lock the door. <laughs> because I'm crazy. Because I like to read shit that scares me and then act crazy in real life. But anyway, I enjoyed this book. Like I said, it takes place in a small town in North Carolina. It has um, some folk lore type stuff. Now, some of the stuff, when you get to the, I don't want to say the other side. How do I say the, like the other side, like, there are things that question your reality, if you will. Like, it makes you wonder, like, are there things that really exist that we don't know about? Because we have all this mythology and lore, but you know how they say like a lot of fairy tales and lore, there's usually a grain of, of truth. So it makes you wonder about the New Jersey devil or you know, alien sightings. Are people making this shit up or is there more to reality than we know? I don't know, but this book just had me questioning like all types of things. And this book, I mean, not that I go outside at night, but I damn sure ain't gonna do it now, okay? But um, I enjoyed this book. I, I gave it a five because creativity, cool, creativity and originality. For those of you that read horror and psychological thrillers, you know that at some point you feel like you're reading the same book over and over and over. I can honestly say I couldn't predict anything in this book. It, everything in this book caught me like off guard. It wasn't over the top scary, but I was so intrigued with where this story went. So if you like folk horror, uh, you know, like I said, you know, if you're familiar with like La Llorona or, you know, Chacu Chupacabra, things like that, you would enjoy this book. But if you're like, fuck all that make-believe bullshit, then maybe move on. Okay. That's all I got to say. Again, I enjoyed this and um, thank you for watching. I wish you good reading as always. Bye.